This is a 2017 Triumph Street Scrambler 900. And over a year ago, it was involved in a crash. It was then stolen and then it was recovered. Let's see if we can bring it back to life. That's right, the previous owner was sideswiped by a van and left him and the bike in a bad way. And while he was in hospital with a broken leg, somebody tried to steal his bike and stole some parts off the bike. Thankfully, the bike had a tracker fitted and was recovered before any more damage was done. And now, a year on, I have taken on the task of making this bike whole again. Join us for the transformation on this bike in a new series where I repair it and eventually modify this bike. But before we start any of the repairs, it's got a year's worth of muck and crud on it. So let's give it a wash and see what we're actually working with. So now we've got it all cleaned off, we can actually see what we're working with. We can look at all the parts we need to replace and work out what the next steps are. As you can imagine, it's been standing for a while, which means the battery's dead. So in order to get to the battery, we must take the seat off. And in order to take the seat off, we must take the pillion seat off. So let's get that sorted. Sure enough, this battery was totally flat, reading about one volt on the multimeter. This battery was that low, I was unable to recover it. So out with the old and in with the new. Right, so we should be able to just turn the key and everything comes to life. There's a few things popping up on the dash, but I mean, I understand why. Obviously the bike has been sat for a very long time, so I'm not going to just start the bike. It needs a full oil change, full service, new spark plugs, air filter, so on. But before we do any of that, we're going to have a quick look around the bike and see what needs to be done. So first off the bat, the throttle, non-existent. This is an electronic throttle and I will be replacing this because it's all broken up and cracked as you can see. Uh, the brake lever is also gone, so we're going to have to be replacing this brake lever. The exhaust obviously is no good and we will be replacing the whole system as well as this engine cover. Look at that, there's a massive gash in that. We're missing the side cover here so that's an easy fix but we're just going to get a new one and put that on. And little things like this, easy fix but we'll come back to that. We do need to look at the forks and make sure they're not bent as well as the handlebars but for now we're just going to get it running and riding and we can take a deeper look later on. So the first thing we got to remove is the exhaust and before we can remove it fully we need to unwind the lamber sensors and once the exhaust is out the way we can check for any more damage. So here's the exhaust we've just pulled off and you can see the condition it's in and here is what it should look like. <laughs> yeah honestly that is completely battered and bent even uh, this pipe here has got some damage to it so I'm glad we've uh, replacing the whole thing. I've got a second hand one off eBay, including the silencers and all the heat shields that need to go with it. So that's the plan to begin with is get all this on and just get it running. And we can look at modifying this bike at a later date. And next up is to replace this engine cover. This has a quite a nasty crack in it. It's gone pretty deep and I'm pretty sure that's cracked inside too. So what we're doing is we're gonna just replace it out completely with the second hand replacement one. 
Now this part scares me a little bit because I have no idea what I'm expecting to see behind this cover and hopefully there's no extra damage. Because in all honesty, I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible because I know further down the line there's going to be some quite expensive parts that need to be replaced. So fingers crossed and let's see what we find. Thankfully, it was just the cover that was damaged and none of the internal parts were affected. Everything looks good, so let's get the old gasket off and we can seal it all back up. Right, it's time to give this bike a service. We don't know the history of it, so it's always best to change the fluids and filters and all that. It's just good practice to do this when you get a new vehicle, just for a bit of peace of mind, really. This is why you want to check these parts, look how filthy that filter is. For the little amount of work it is, it's worth doing. Now I'll feel a bit better starting up this bike. But before we can even do that, we've got to get the exhaust put back on. Finally, it's time to put some coolant in this thing. This, this is direct from Triumph, the proper stuff. Um, it does say in the manual that this stuff needs to be green, but I do believe they've upgraded the formula and now it's red. That's what it is. But yeah, I'm so excited. Just one last push to get this thing running. All that's left on the list is the throttle and the brake lever. Guys, that's the bike back together then. Everything seems to work. The only thing I haven't done is the brake lever yet, but that's to come. There's no reason why we can't hopefully start this up. So fully serviced, fresh oil change, new coolant, plugs, filters, everything. The exhaust is back on, indicators working. Let's get it started up, shall we? Oh. Yes, there is fuel in it. It might be a little bit stale, but we will see. Priming. So there we have it guys, the bike fired up. It sounded a bit sketchy to begin with, but it soon settled down. I think it's just because it's been sat for such a long time. I will give it another check over before I go take it out for a ride, but 
But here we are in part one of this new Triumph build. I'd really look forward to hearing your guys' input on how you think we should modify it and what we can do to this bike. I'm planning on taking it on some trips this year, so we'll hopefully have some fun with this thing. But yeah, we've got a new toy to play with in the workshop. So guys, there we have it. It started so much easier than I thought it might. There is lights on the dash, sadly. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna get some fresh fuel in. I'm gonna make sure everything's good before I start running it properly, but there we have it. The brake lever needs sorting out, but that's gonna come under modifications, which we will be doing in another video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the first part of this series and I cannot wait to start playing with this bike and seeing what we can do with it because it's a whole new ball game with these kind of bikes. So if you like the video, please press the like button. If you want to see more, you can join us on Patreon. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Peace.